Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Well, I'm sure everyone by now has had a chance to check out iOS 13 hands-on if they wanted to, but I'm sure you guys definitely want a downgrade tutorial or a way to get back to good old iOS 12 and or if you guys just want to get off of beta. Anyway, that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Let's get directly into things, but before we do, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, here we go. So, on the phone side of things, all you need to do is either sign out of iCloud or just ensure that Find My iPhone is turned off. And once that's done, then we're good to go to proceed on the computer side of things. Now, unfortunately, with iOS 13, Apple's made it rather difficult to downgrade to iOS 12 and keep your data. If you guys try to do the old way of option selecting check for update while on iOS 13, but then selecting the iOS 12.3 IPSW, unfortunately, you're going to run into an error and the restore is going to fail and you're going to lose all of your data. Now, for future reference at the very end of this video, I'll show you guys how to archive an iTunes backup so you guys will always have a backup on iOS 12. But if you guys updated to iOS 13 without doing that, I kind of have one trick up my sleeve that we're going to go ahead and try in this video. So to start things off, you're going to want to download the iOS 12.3 IPSW file directly from IPSW.me for your specific iOS device. That is, if you guys care about jailbreaking, always go to the lowest version of iOS that you can while it's still being signed. Right now, as of recording that video, that's iOS 12.3. So now comes to the point of the video where we can go ahead and plug our iOS device into our computer just like that. Make sure the connection is trusted and that your phone appears in iTunes just like this and then we're good to go. So kind of catering to two audiences here. One, if you guys need to keep data, I'll go over that in just a second. If you guys don't need to keep data, just go ahead and click restore iPhone, either just by selecting it, that's going to update you to the latest public version of iOS 12, being 12.3.1 as of recording this video. Or again, if you guys are on a Mac, just option click or shift click if you're on a Windows. And with that held down, just click restore iPhone and manually select that iOS 12.3 IPS W file, go ahead and click open and your restore will begin. Now that's if you don't want to keep data. If you do want to keep data, here is where we're going to actually back up our phone now on iOS 13. Yes, contrary to what we've said in the past, you're actually going to back up that data now on iOS 13. Then we're actually going to entirely wipe the phone and restore it to iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1. And then I'm going to show you guys a method to actually restore that backup created on iOS 13 on iOS 12. Now, traditionally in the past, we've suggested for you guys to option or shift click this check for update button and then just select iOS 12.3. And typically that would work going from iOS 12 to iOS 11. That worked perfectly fine just as of last year. But now, unfortunately, that process no longer works. If you guys attempt that, the restore will fail and you're going to lose all of your data. So very worst case, just create a backup on iOS 13. If you guys really need that information, you can always update to iOS 13 and then restore from that backup. That is if this method doesn't work. I actually haven't tried it yet. Anyways, I backed up my phone on iOS 13. As you guys can see, I have two backups right here on my computer. This is actually my main one, again, that's archived on iOS 12, but this is the one that I just created right here that's on iOS 13, and that's the one that we're gonna restore to. And just to make sure this backup process works, I'm actually gonna create some data real fast, just a couple photos that we have, just like that, just to show you guys that it keeps data. All right, don't unplug your phones, leave it the way it was. Let's go ahead and get this restore started. All right, like I said, we've backed up our phone, just like that, I'll give it here just a second. And then instead of clicking check for update because that no longer works, we're actually going to option click restore iPhone and select that IPSW file just like that. And again, this is your IPSW file for your specific model. And then we can go ahead and click open and click restore. Now it's going to continue on with the restore. But again, we backed up that data on iOS 13. And natively, iTunes will not let you restore an iOS 13 backup on iOS 12. So here's how we're going to fix that. You're going to go to the iTunes menu up in the top left. Sorry, it's off screen. You're going to go to preferences. It's going to pull up this little dialog box right here. And your landing page is on general, but we're going to go over to devices. 
and we're gonna select this iOS 13 backup that we just created. There we have it, software version 13 right there. We're gonna go ahead and click show in Finder. So this is gonna pull up in Finder. This is our backup. We're gonna go ahead and go into that and we're gonna go into info.plist and double click to open that. This is an Xcode. Again, you can do this in a regular text editor, but it's much easier in Xcode if you guys want to download that. Anyways, we're gonna navigate down to product version and it says 13 right here. And basically you're gonna modify this string to whatever version you're restoring to or earlier. So I'm restoring to iOS 12.3 and that's literally all we need to change. Apple S or Command S to save that. And now we're good to go. So now that that's taken care of, we can go ahead and let the restore finish. I'll go ahead and let this wrap up and I'll be right back to show you guys the final steps. All right, so it looks like the restore has finished, but it's just verifying on device. This is completely normal. It's recognized within iTunes. I'm gonna go ahead and let the phone fully boot up before we try to restore the backup that we just created on iOS 13 that we modified. All right, now that it's on, let's go ahead and select the backup again that we just created, that we just edited within Xcode. Let's see what happens here. So it says restoring from backup and it looks like it's gonna do it, guys. I can't believe that worked. It totally did work. It restored it back to that backup that we created on iOS 13. Uh, so that was pretty much it. I don't know if you guys saw, sorry about my autofocus, it is wigging out right now, but basically all I did was select my backup and click restore. It fully accepted it and it restored to the iOS device. Again, running iOS 12 right now, as you guys will see here in just one second. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into the camera app and verify that those photos are still there to ensure that everything has worked as intended, but that is just crazy to me, guys, that Apple has now blocked that way to downgrade to iOS 12 or downgrade to an earlier version, a public version off of a beta using that check for update workaround. That restore or that downgrade process is going to fail every single time, guys. And I can't believe this solution was as easy as it was. Again, for Windows users down there, I'll go ahead and link the same tutorial process of how to edit that backup. I know we did everything on a Mac, but I can't forget about you guys either. This process will work on both Windows and Mac, so as long as your phone appears in iTunes. I'm not sure what the status is on that with iOS 13 betas yet, guys, but in any case, I would definitely check out 3U Tools. That might be another alternative. That definitely worked to update iOS devices to iOS 13 on Windows. I'm guessing the downgrade process might actually have a little bit more support there if you guys are running into errors on Windows. I've yet to actually test it on Windows. That is just in theory. Can I really have yet to test this process before actually trying it? I was made aware of this later last year towards the end of the iOS 12 beta stages. And so I just thought of it and I was like, I can't believe it worked. But this is a great way, guys, to downgrade from iOS 13 to iOS 12 and keep data. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. It says restore completed. It looks like it worked perfectly fine. Again, restoring from the iTunes backup that we created on iOS 13 not going to use a passcode, just going to skip through all of this stuff on screen so we can get into the important stuff. And there we have it. Look at that, guys. It even it kept the iOS 13 wallpaper. Let's go ahead and go to that. Go to general right here and go to about. And there we have it, iOS 12.3. But as you guys can see, it definitely restored from the iOS 13 backup. I can tell just by the wallpaper. I have all my data right there, all my photos. Anyway, guys, can't believe that process worked. It's as simple as changing a string in the backup file. Unbelievable, unbelievable, Apple. That's all that's holding you back from restoring newer iOS backups on an older iOS version. So very quickly to archive a backup, you're gonna go to iTunes up here in the top left and go to preferences. That will pull up this dialog box right here. We can go over to devices and here are your backup. And I only have one, but really all you need to do is while you're on iOS 12, select this backup and right click it and click 
archive right there. So now it's archived, and when you actually plug your phone into your computer on iOS 13, if it does a backup automatically, it's not going to overwrite this backup. It's going to create a new one. So just click OK, and then you're good to go to update to iOS 13 in the future and have a backup on iOS 12. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the very end. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for the incredible support, everyone out there. I can't believe we reached 900,000 subscribers, guys. It's seriously very humbling, guys. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words. So, all I want to say is thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching this video, but until next time, guys, this is Tony, signing out.